I would like to derive the Pythagorean theorem and derive it using uh, algebra. So let's start with a right triangle who has a hypotenuse of length C, a height of length A, and a base of length B. Next to this triangle, let's uh, draw a similar triangle who has the same um, hypotenuse length, same uh, base length, and same height length, and place it standing on its end. Then at the top of this triangle, let's place another triangle of the same dimensions. And then to the right of this triangle, let's place another triangle of the same dimensions. And what you wind up with is a large uh, square uh, surrounding a smaller square that's tipped on its side. As you can see, each uh, the length of the side of the large square is going to be a plus b and the length of the side of the uh, interior square is going to be uh, length uh, C. And um, by using these two uh, squares we can derive the Pythagorean theorem uh, through the use of algebra. Now if we look at the large uh, exterior square uh, we know that its side has a length of A plus B so you can find the area of the large square uh, by multiplying two sides together. So that would give you uh, the side a plus b uh, multiplied by itself. So you, that would be the quantity a plus b squared would give you the area. Let's call that a1. Um, in the same way, the interior square can be found by multiplying two sides together. And so this area can be found by uh, multiplying uh, the sides C. C squared would equal um, the area uh, within that square which would, we, we will call um, A2. So um, as you can see A2 does not equal um, A1 or the area of the interior square is obviously uh, not the same as the area of the exterior square because it's um, smaller by a factor of um, these four uh, triangles that surround it. Now we know that the uh, area of a triangle is um, equal to one half the base times the height. So in this case the area of one of these triangles would be equal to one half A times B. So to get the area that surrounds the interior square you would simply multiply this by four because there's four of these uh, triangles surrounding the interior square. So if we take this area um, plus the in area of the interior square, then we would arrive at the area of the large exterior square. So in this case then, A1 would equal A2 plus A3. And if we substitute then the uh, values for area 1, area 2, and area 3 into an equation, we be can begin uh, deriving the um, Pythagorean theorem uh, by using algebra. So let's go ahead and replace a1 with a plus b squared, and that would be the sides of the large exterior square. And that would equal c squared, which would be the sides of the um, interior square and plus 4 times 1 half AB and that would be the area of the um, four squares that surround the interior square. So we have the um, area uh, so we have the area of the large square is equal to the area of the small square uh, plus the four the area of the four triangles. Then we can rewrite A plus B quantity squared as A plus B quantity times a plus b quantity and that's equal to c squared plus 2ab and that's because uh, 4 times 1 half ab can be reduced to 2ab. Then if we expand the equation on the left we can see that a times a equals a squared, a times b equals ab, b times a equals ab, and b times b equals b squared. 
So uh, that would give us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equals uh, c squared plus 2ab. Then we also see that 2ab is present on both sides of the equation, so we can cancel them out. And this leaves us with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And this is the Pythagorean theorem, so we have been able to derive it through the use of um, algebra. So that would be the QED. And let's see a living example of this. Uh, we begin with a square and uh, we take the square of the hypotenuse and we call that c squared. We take the square of the height and call that a squared. And we take the square of the base and call that b squared. And according to the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And graphically, um, this is how we can think of it as a square of the hypotenuse the base and the height. And using these relationships we can solve for the hypotenuse or the length of the hypotenuse uh, C or the length of the height A or the length of the base B. An actual example would be for example um, the hypotenuse having a length of 5 and the height having uh, a length of 3 and the base having the length of 4 then we know that the square of the hypotenuse would be 25, the square of the height would be 9, and the square of the base would be 16. And using all these relationships, we can solve for any one of the sides of a uh, right triangle.